nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Good morning, good morning, guys Well, guess what? It has finally stopped raining. Yeah, I'm happy about that. So I looked at the radar and it looks like the rain is way over there on the east coast now. So I might just get lucky and dry without rain today. Now that would be awesome. Really would like it. Well, they did the time change here overnight and we got uh, 4.39 right now. So we'll get out of here in about five minutes or so. So we're just uh, went inside and grabbed me a cup of coffee. And we're gonna get out of here pretty soon. So uh, let's have ourselves a fantastic day. And that's coming right along with us. And let's see what we can show you. Alrighty guys, we are still in Ohio. Yeah, we got into Ohio last night when I stopped when I was finished for today. We was in Ohio already, so we yeah, have been cruising for about three and a half hours already, so uh, I think we're getting closer and closer to making a pit stop here. Maybe in about two miles, we'll go pull her in here and uh, we'll have a pit stop. There's a pilot truck stop up here. So we'll have ourselves a little bit of a pit stop and yeah we even had a little bit of sunshine this morning still a little bit cloudy up there but I don't know if that would, that would give us any showers yet so I'm really happy that we were able to uh, drive today without having the wipers on all the time you know oh I was so getting sick and tired of that and I know I talked about this a few times already this you week, but... Alright, I guess uh, we're going to be taking the next exit up here. And then we'll go to the Flying J and have our half an hour break. Which we gotta do before our 8 hours is up. I mean, we're not anywhere near to our 8 hours, but... We gotta do a little bit of a circle check on tires and all that stuff, lights, check everything out a little bit. Now I got to use the restroom. I got to. And then we'll see what we'll do. Maybe I'll have me a bowl of cereal there for breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. Give me a bowl of cereal done. Had me two bananas already today, so. I guess I shouldn't say I didn't have anything yet, but I think I've been at this point before. I don't remember exactly whereabouts it is, but I remember being up here somewhere. Oh, there is the pilot up there. No, I don't think I've been at that one before. I don't remember being down there. I guess we'll go there for the first time. In 0.2 miles, go straight on yeah. 7 South Liverpool. Before we get there, we gotta pay our toll. We got a toll up here. Yeah, which I don't have to pay cash for, luckily, because our company uh, gives us uh, an easy pass. So, I don't know what that four wheeler is doing up there. He's got his four ways on, but it's up here in the wrong lane or whatever, you know. There we go, the gate opens. So, looks like we gotta go this way. I don't know what he would be doing out there. That looks weird. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go over to the pilot up here and see what this pilot looks like. Like I said, I've never been here before. On the right side. Yes, RJ, I know. You've been telling me how to get there. That. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate that. Otherwise, I would have never known it's up here. I mean, look at all the bush. You can't see it from the interstate. Unless you're going right by the exit, you can see it. But other than that, you can't. 
and then it would be kind of too late. I didn't even see no signs up there saying that there's a pilot down here. Would be nice if they have a little sign up there back somewhere. Maybe they did, I just missed it. Maybe that's a possibility too, but... Uh, there used to be a truck stop, it looks like. No, there still is. Like there's another type of truck stop up there, like a 24 hour Approach or something. destination in 900 feet on the right side. Alright. Well, there's definitely a pilot up here, and I thought I saw a cat scale from down up there in the interstate, too. So, there should definitely be a few parking spots. And it looks like they got a few parking spots in here. Doesn't look like a big one, but as long as we can park somewhere. You have right? arrived at your destination on the right, right side. Pilot travel center number 011. Alright, alright. Well, it looks like I got a couple of good spots up there. I guess I could just drive in there. That way I don't need to back her in. I just back out later on, right? That's right. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. Here we go, guys. We are making our way slowly back onto the big road. Yeah. Yep, there we go. So, let's get back on the big highway and get some more miles in. We got 337 miles to go to our final destination today. We got to make one more pit stop before we get there. And that is in Breezywood, Pennsylvania. That's right. Gotta make a pit stop. But that's it. Continue on this road for nine miles. The reason why I want to stop in there is because uh, I broke off my antenna a while back ago for my uh, cell phone single booster. And that's about the only truck stop that I can find them at. I've never seen them anywhere else. So, we're going to go in there and uh, there's a radio check in there. And we're going to go in there and see if we can uh, still get him. I know even he said he was having a hard time stalking them. But I'm going to go in there and see if they still have one in stock. And if they do, I'm getting it. Because uh, it makes a big difference with that cell phone single booster. I've noticed that. Uh, I, I, you know, sometimes you think it doesn't work, right? But then when you don't have it, you realize how good it actually is, you know? So uh, we're gonna go get that antenna and uh, we'll mount it and uh, hopefully that will work. And then we'll be good to go again, you know? We'll be good. We'll have better cell phone signal. Yeah, look at the nice sunshine that we got now, eh? Did I tell you guys, you already had a little this morning and then it got cloudy again. Now it's dried all up. Still got a few clouds up there, but we finally have nice sunshine, so that's awesome. I love it, I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's get those miles behind us. We just had our pit stop here in uh, Breezy Wood, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And they did have that antenna in stock that I wanted. Now we got ourselves a new booster kit antenna. Yeah! I'm really happy, happy, happy about that. Now we got a new one on there. That's good. That's what I like. Speed warning. Alright, alright. Now we just gotta go through the toll booth up here and uh, get back on the interstate. Yeah, I'm surprised how much leaves we still have left up here in Pennsylvania. At home we have no leaves left anymore on these trees that leave, uh, lose their leaves, you know. So we uh, 
We definitely got it colder at home than they got it here in Pennsylvania. That's for sure. Yeah, we want to go into this easy pass lane. Oh, look at this damn full rear there up here. They just think they got a cut in front of you, eh? They yeah, just think you got a cut in front of you. We're just going to go on this lane then. Because these guys, they accept feet, easy passes the left well. By 76 there we go. There we go. Every lane accepts easy pass up here in Pennsylvania, pretty much. Don't have to pay cash for it. No, of course, every four-wheeler wants to get ahead of me. <laughs> I don't know what it is with these four-wheelers, but they just think they got to be ahead of you. They got no patience. The construction. Anyways, here we are going over the interstate. We're going to make a circle up here. And we're going to be back on the interstate. Yeah, I don't know why they would make the ramp to go that way, but they gotta make a circle like this, just slow you right down. You know, with the big truck, it's hard to get back up to speed, you know, so it's kind of hard to get back onto the interstate with this circle like this, but... Oh, well! We'll get back on it no matter what. That's the goal anyways. I know I already went through a tunnel and we might go through other tunnels up here too. Well for, miles. for those of you that remember uh, previously when I've been in Pennsylvania I've shown you going through tunnels. Now we're going to go through tunnels again eventually. Maybe even here in a few minutes. Just have to look and see. I may, I may not. We'll see. Looks like somebody is getting a ticket. That's what it looks like. Here we go. Got even a third lane up here for trucks. I don't think we're going to go through a tunnel right away, but... Uh, Later on today, I'm sure we will go through a couple of uh, tunnels yet, you know. But we filled up over here at the TA. We we're all full of Google juice. Got our antenna, put it on. We're good to go now. Yeah. That's good. So, let's put the hammer down. We had 165 miles to go to our final delivery place, our final destination. So we'll try and make it up there tonight. Should be there around quarter to six according to our J. Hopefully it's not too dark. Anyways, we'll be back in a little while. Oh, Hello there, driver. Can I sit down and buy you a cup? This truck stop and coffee, we both know we'll fix you right up. I can't drive a big rig, but man, I play a lot of shows. I'll leave the driving to you as they can sing in these tunes, cause it's the only life I know. I pick the guitar and you drive the truck. Hey, I play the gigs and you drive the rigs. You know it's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick the guitar and you drive the truck. Tell us about it, Mo. Well, I better get it going. 
If I'm gonna make in Dallas by noon I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear Won't have to do After four million miles you think there's nowhere left to go And I'll climb back up that old truck Cause it's the only life I know So you pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck you play the gigs and I'll drive the rig, you know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love You pick the guitar, I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll pick the guitar, I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll play the gigs, I'll drive the rig, it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick the guitar and I'll drive the truck. You pick the guitar, hey, you got the truck. Watch that Jake break. It's getting in our song here, boys. Hammer down, boy. I'm gonna head it on back to Nashville now. Oh, grind them gears a little bit so I can hear you. That's awful pretty truck you got there, Mo. Oh, boy. Won't you park that old truck? Come on down to Nashville with me and do a little singing. Oh, I'm just a cowboy on my way back to you. Alrighty guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the narrow stretch of Pennsylvania Road that I have to go in to deliver my load. This is actually a wider part of the highway already. I know it's kind of dark up here already. But I'm about 5 miles away to my delivery. And this is narrow man I mean this is the widest part I've been on this road so far should have turned on the camera there a few minutes ago man that was a narrow stretch of highway Not like a 20 mile an hour corner up there and it wasn't really wide enough for the truck I mean look at this again I mean I can just barely I, I don't even think I can properly fit between these uh, between these uh, lines up here you know this man speed limit reduced to half narrow road up here it says bridge not sure what they're saying up there but this is definitely a narrow stretch of highway that's for sure so it say up here Where we gotta go deliver that's how we'll look look at this we are at our customer you can see that's the name for the business we are backed into the dock backed her all the way into the dock yeah so that way nobody can actually open up our doors yeah that's right we've been here for a good while already yeah, already uh, cooked me a nice little stew and yeah, just outside walking around. Figured I'd finish off my uh, little video up here. Nice little area up here. Nice and quiet. Looks like maybe some residential. No, I think there are some other businesses up there. I think when I came uh, came across, I came, I came a road that just goes, I don't know, maybe north of here or whatever that is. Just on the other side of those buildings and I came down that street and had to come this way so so yeah we we're, we're outside starting to chill off a little bit might get cold here pretty soon but uh, other than that yeah we're we're at the customer and actually right above that door that I backed into it says uh, receiving and there's one more door on the other side maybe I'll go show you guys that a little bit and it actually says uh, shipping on there, but yeah, I just figured I'd turn on my lights a little bit and show you my truck here in the dark a little bit, right? Look at them new lights. 
look really nice and bright on there eh? like I don't have the headlights on obviously but just got the running lights on it and yeah look at that that's where we got that door says shipping on there I don't know what the other one says up there oh that one says uh, UPS and stuff like that so we can't can't really go on that one right but uh, yeah it's a beautiful evening out here I see a few stars up there not bad you know but almost all the clouds have disappeared so that's nice we have a camper up here not sure what they're doing with that but hey none of our business either right anyways we cooked ourselves a nice uh, little stew as I was saying and so we're we're done for today got to deliver here tomorrow morning they said they open at seven yeah, I'm just gonna read what it said did you chalk your wheels no I didn't because I gotta get out and open the doors tomorrow morning right oh wow that would be <laughs> a bit of a jump right from this door this is a block door <laughs> I don't know what this mean by that but whatever that's fine yeah, them rims are real nice shiny up there on that camper, eh? Wow. Anyways, we have had ourselves a fantastic day. Yeah, took us a little longer to get here than we actually wanted to, but uh, we got here no matter what. We got here. We're safe. It's a nice quiet area up here. Nobody else in here. Just myself, that's all. And, uh, yeah. As you guys probably have noticed, I've been eating all week. I've been eating out of the truck pretty much. And it works okay. Works good too. But anyways, we're done for today. Maybe it wasn't much of a driving video today, but yeah, at least we had some video. Something of a, some kind of a video, right? But uh, anyways, that's about all I got today. So be sure to stick around for tomorrow. It might be an adventure tomorrow. So until then, you will see me then. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.